How should we begin? Well, I thought we'd start with some basic movement exercises. You know, get our bodies warmed up a little. All right. So I just want you to relax and kind of move around in the space. You know, just do whatever feels natural. <laughs> To warm up, to do easy exercises, in order to prepare yourself for more energetic exercises. To start liking someone more, as you spend more time with them, especially if you didn't really like them in the beginning. If you warm up a machine, or an engine, you switch it on and wait for a little while, until it is ready to be used. Examples. Hey, what are you doing? You gotta save room, you've got almost an entire turkey to eat. Let me explain to you how the human body works. <laughs> I have to warm up my stomach first. Eating chips is like stretching. Okay. Yeah, don't worry, Tribbiani's never get full. My father loves NASCAR. It's NASCAR, baby. That's like the widest sport on the planet. Not anymore, Simon. Like, there, baby, there's like NASCAR and hockey. Babe, don't worry. He'll forget about it. He's like this with everyone. It always takes him some time to warm up to new people, that's all. What, what are we talking about here? By Sunday, you'll be a part of this family. The infirmary at Fort Lebanon. We'll be right behind you. You got it? Yep. Warm up the motor. I'll be right back. Hold it right there. You're not leaving this island. Our daughter has been abducted by one of these beige lunatics. The challenging climate of Scandinavia has left its mark on the Swedish character. <laughs> these dour latter-day Vikings are slow to warm up to strangers. But if you follow a few easy steps, a Swede can be your friend for life. <laughs> Okay, this is gonna be my mantle shot. So every time mom and dad look at it, they'll be reminded of what David did. I would say you should chill out, but this is actually making me feel great about my family, so let's dive in. Everybody say, possession with intent to distribute. <laughs> to dive in, or dive into, to start doing something, or start doing something in a very enthusiastic way. Examples. There's a community outreach program that's very important to me. I was wondering if you'd like to head it up. Absolutely, sir. I won't just head it up, I will head and shoulders it up. I will dive in, swim around it, and just be all together good with it. Be more articulate when you speak to the children. Yes, sir, I will make better mouth. <sighs> Let's dive in. Get a shot of this. Hey, babies. These are the headlines on the day you were born. Okay, now, girl baby, turn away. And boy babies, check it out, huh? <laughs> this is what naked women look like the month you were born. All right, now let's dive right into the good stuff. <laughs> There's not going to be a confrontation. In fact, I doubt if he can even spell confrontation. Oh. C-O-N-frontation. <laughs> He started it. I don't care. I'm finishing it. Put him down. Fine. You're one lucky little leprechaun. He's a hobbit. I got your back. <laughs> to put down. This very common phrasal verb has five basic meanings. To put something onto a surface. To pay part of the cost of something and agree to pay the rest later. To record something in writing. To kill an animal, using a drug, because it is very old, ill, or dangerous. To criticize someone, especially in a way that makes them feel stupid. Examples. You can't turn down an opportunity like this. No, but what about the wedding? And all the money you put down for the reception? You let me worry about that. I'll take a box of the cream-filled Jesus. Wait a minute, one box? Come on, I'm trying to send a poor little girl to space camp. I'm putting you down for five boxes. All right, I'll take one box of the mint treasures. One, and that's it. Why don't I just put you down for three of the mint treasures and just a couple of the Rudolphs? No. <laughs> hey, I work at the same university you do. Yes, and Hawkeye's in the Avengers, but no one ever says, help, Hawkeye. <laughs> Do something? Why do you constantly feel the need to put down my husband? Oh, I'm sure he does it out of love, the same way my boyfriend makes me feel terrible about my life choices. It's just such a beautiful space. Do you do a lot of weddings here? Yes, we're very popular. There's a two-year waiting list. Sorry. <laughs> Monica, you should totally put your name down for this place. What? Are you crazy? I'm not 
getting married? I'm, I'm not even engaged. No, but there's a two-year wait. And then what if you get engaged in two years and then you've got to wait another two years for this place? That's four years. Yeah, and honey, it can't hurt to put your name down. But if in two years you're not engaged, you just don't use it. Well, I mean, I guess there is no harm in putting my name down. Um. <laughs> Missy! Thank you. I appreciate. A uh, please. Oh, honey, is your medication wearing off? <laughs> well, hi, cutie pie. I was hoping you'd show up. <laughs> and a dog made a noise like that. Had to put him down. Oh, I call dibs on the Golden Age Flash. Yeah, hang on, I need that to complete my Justice Society of America collection. Too bad, I call dibs. But you can't just call dibs. I can, I did look up dibs on Wikipedia. <laughs> to look up, to try to find some information by looking in a book, using a computer, etc. Examples. So you like the beer? I do, I do. <laughs> Although it's actually a lager. Huh. What's the difference between beer and lager? I don't know. <laughs> we could look it up. So, with the exception of the fermentation process, beer and ale are basically the same thing. Fascinating, isn't it? Maybe you should look up fascinating. And I'm going to go to Blog on 7 in search of alternative fuels. <laughs> but when I return, 200 years from now, you'll be long gone. <laughs> so you tell your great, great granddaughter to look me up. You guys, you're not gonna believe this. I was just saying goodnight to Emma, and she said her first words. <gasps> what? Wow. Yeah, we go. What did she say? She said Gleba. <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 that's, that's great. Why, why aren't you more excited? Oh, uh, Rach, uh, Gleba is not a word. OK, 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 fine. I'm going to look it up. Oh, oh, OK, great. You know what? While you're at it, she said another word the other day. Why don't you, uh, why don't you look up? <laughs> he pulled himself up. <laughs> I'm sorry you guys missed it, but I did tape it, so if you guys want to see it, uh, we know. He already did it last week. I missed, I missed the first time of everything. I missed, what, the first time he rolled over? The first time he crawled? What else did I miss? Has he spoken yet? Uh, is he driving? Does he have a favorite liqueur? <laughs> to roll over. To move in a rolling motion on a surface. To be easily defeated without even trying. Stop resisting someone and do what the other person wants. Examples. This is on you, Gus. Not me, not Jesse. Gail's death is on you. I mean, really, what, what, what did you expect me to do? Just simply roll over and allow you to murder us? I told you, you can't regulate every aspect of our lives. I can, if you just roll over and accept your fate. <laughs> I'm sorry for bringing this over here. Uh, believe me, we know what you're going through. And I, I think the most helpful thing we can tell you is no backseats. <laughs> I'm not some top 40 song, easily digestible. I, I'm complex. I require time and multiple listens. I'm Stairway to Heaven. Wow. Roger Daltrey just rolled over in his grave. <laughs> That's not the right guy, is it? He's not even dead, is he? Hey there, Boyle. How was your weekend? Well, actually, I got a little sick. Oh, really? Sorry to hear that, man. Yeah. Bullets Over Broadway was on TV. And I came down with a big old Diane Weist infection. <laughs> like yeast! To come down with, to become sick with a particular disease, usually one that is not serious. Examples. There is nothing dishonorable about talking about your life. People like it. Hey there, Dwight Schrute here. Listen, uh, would you be interested in restocking on paper? Yeah, I could sure use the money. My cousin uh, came down with a case of that nasty new goat fungus. 
Oh, it's just horrific. The doctor says he's never seen it beard so quickly. When it comes to emotions and relationships, you're just like everybody else. Are you trying to suggest that my emotional problems are no different than those of a stupid person? <laughs> Actually, some research indicates that by not overthinking, the less intelligent handle emotions better. <laughs> oh. Sure you're not coming down with a cold? Oh, yes, the common cold. Just like everyone else, you'd love that, wouldn't you? <laughs> Okay, so here's the thing. I was wondering if you could maybe teach me a little physics. Newton realized that Aristotle was wrong and force was not necessary to maintain motion. So we can see that MA equals MG, and what do we know from this? Uh, Newton was a really smart cookie. Oh, is that where Fig Newtons come from? <laughs> No, Fig Newtons are named after a small town in Massachusetts. But don't write that down. To name after. To give someone or something the same name as another person or thing. Examples. But what are we gonna do? It's okay, honey, you'll find a name. Oh, easy for you to say. You already know what your kids' names are gonna be. You do? Yeah, I had them picked out since I was 14. Oh, no, it's going to be named after some snack or baked good, isn't it? You love this guy. Me. Come on, he's an underappreciated genius. Still think it's me. It's not you. Now think, there's a car named after him. Oh, of course there is. The Mini Cooper, because it's me. <laughs> I started doing some reading on cognitive vitality, and I came across an area of research called superaging. You know who's a superager? Jennifer Lopez. Like, what is the secret? <laughs> to come across. To meet someone or find something by chance. To appear or sound in a specified way. Give a specified impression. Examples. Hey, Robin, what do you think? The girl sitting at the bar, shields up? Mm. Totes toots. She's here on a date. She brought the book because she got here early, and she also wants to impress the guy she's meeting. Girls like to come across all classy and smart, you know? I realized that this could be really helpful for police work, so I made an appointment with the head of NYPD purchasing. I have to sell him on it, but I'm afraid I might come across a little boring. <gasps> Amy, are you asking me to she's all that, you? I didn't read that. But if it's about helping out a friend, then yes. That was ambiguous. Well, well now it's ambiguous. What are you going to do about it? Um, you could talk some smack about his mother. But, but yes, of course. He wouldn't like that at all. <laughs> Last night, I was feeling in need of sexual release when I happened to come across your mother. Sorry, it's just because I couldn't be there. Because all I ever get to do now is pregnant stuff. It just bums me out. No, oh, we're sorry. All right. To bum out, to disappoint, upset, or annoy someone, to cause someone to feel disappointed. Examples. Okay, I've got to go pick up Ben, but I, I will figure something out. Hey, didn't he used to have a cat? Well, I wouldn't bring that up. It would probably just bum him out. Okay, you're hanging with us tonight. I've got an awesome party lined up. Oh, God. Is this going to be another one of your weird all-guy parties? That was a poker game. What is wrong with you? I haven't seen these guys since, like, last year before Lily and I broke up. So I'm gonna have to break the news to everybody. It's really gonna bum them out. He's miserable. What happened to him? Nothing. We just talked about stuff. What stuff? Rachel stuff. Joey, you bummed him out. <laughs> this is the happiest dog in the world, and he spends half a day with you, and look at him. I mean, granted, I just saw the back of her head. But I got this sense that she's, she's smart and funny and gets you. You got all that from the back of her head? All right, look, I just think it's time for you to settle down, you know? Make a choice. Pick a lane. Who's a lane? To settle down. To become quiet and calm. To begin to live a quiet and steady life by getting a regular job, getting married, etc. Examples. Did she say something? Yeah, she said she hasn't heard from you in a week. I thought you liked her. Bernadette is really nice. I just always thought when I finally settle down into a relationship, it would be with someone, you know, different. Different how? 
Well, they, you know, more like Megan Fox from Transformers. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You know what? Just stay. Please. It, uh, it would really mean a lot for me if you stayed. Ross, I just... Rachel, please! Just have dinner with us! <laughs> Okay, Joey, it's okay. Settle down. All right. All right. All right. I'm Settle sorry. Down. I'm sorry. Um, you think maybe the reason why you're having trouble finding a guy to settle down with is because you're letting him ride the roller coaster without buying a ticket? Oh, they don't always get to ride the roller coaster. Sometimes they only get to spin the teacups. <laughs> I have to warm up my stomach first. Eating chips is like stretching. Why do you constantly feel the need to put down my husband? There's a car named after him. Fascinating, isn't it? Maybe you should look up fascinating.